Finn Brunton, Digital Cash, The Unknown History of the Anarchists, Utopians, and Technologists Who Created Cryptocurrency. Get ready to delve into the intriguing history of cryptocurrency, as told in Finn Brunton's book, Digital Cash, The Unknown History of the Anarchists, Utopians, and Technologists Who Created Cryptocurrency. You will learn about the evolution of currency, from ancient Mesopotamia to today's digital realm, and get a glimpse of the social constructs that have influenced its development over time. With powerful examples like Howard Scott's energy certificates during the Great Depression and David Chomsky cash system, the book offers fascinating insights into the pioneers in the field. This summary will walk you through these exciting examples and the impact they've had on our world. Technocracy and the Quest for an Alternative Monetary System During the Great Depression in the U.S., when banks failed, and the circulation of U.S. dollars nearly halted, various municipalities issued their own currencies and stores turned to bartering commodities like eggs and honey. Howard Scott, a New York impresario, offered an alternative monetary system called Technocracy Incorporated. The system, which referred to itself as the Technate, promise to rule the U.S. and Canada. The means of exchange would be energy certificates, more reliable than U.S. dollars, which would be regulated by master engineers that ban all non-essential activities. Although traditional currencies have a basis in physical items like precious metals, technocracies' energy certificates centered on a specific vision of the future, cataloged all goods and services available for purchase in the technate by a Dewey Decimal System and had an expiration date of two years. The energy certificates and similar creative currencies are part of a long history of monetary systems that reflect human biases and beliefs at unique points in history. The Evolution of Money Throughout history, money has evolved from an art form of paper markings and quality checks to electronic transactions that can control and govern personal data. With the rise of credit cards and electronic value exchange systems, the government and corporations have gained control over spending data, leading to dystopian fears of monetary coercion. Margaret Atwood's novel, The Handmaid's Tale, showcases this dystopian concept of governments freezing women's credit accounts. Similarly, food stamps have transformed into electronic benefit transfer cards, usable only for specific items. The evolution of money reflects society's changing control over personal information. Introducing eCash In the mid-1990s, David Chom, the currency entrepreneur, created a new virtual currency called eCash through his Dutch company DigiCash. Chom believed that existing credit card systems were too closely monitored and turned people into electronically tagged animals in feedlots. With eCash, a certificate issued by DigiCash would guarantee that the spender has the requisite currency and a unique serial number verified for legitimacy. The certificate would then be multiplied by a random number known only to the customer, ensuring anonymity for the spender. However, the recipient of the eCash would not be anonymous, making it difficult for money laundering to occur. Despite its innovative technology, eCash failed to gain widespread adoption due to the lack of dissatisfaction with the existing currency system. Chong's revolutionary concept highlights the importance of challenging the status quo for the widespread adoption of a new currency system. The rise of Virtual Currency Evangelists In the 1990s, a group of libertarians with a love for technology and healthy living embraced the idea of virtual currency. They aimed to extend life through biostasis and saw income inequality as a desirable outcome. These virtual currency evangelists subscribed to a hard-edged school of economics, which held that the markets were infallible. They believed that humans were incapable of guiding markets and were foolish to meddle in them in any way. The rise of the internet allowed them to rethink traditional money and digital bits replaced physical atoms in their imaginations. This group tested new technologies long before they were made available to the rest. The idea of a currency issued by the Virtual Bank of Extropolis featuring Friedrich Hayek in the Oval Circle on the front of the bill was proposed by the Extropians, and many considered Hayek a hero. However, building digital cash was both technically complex and semantically confusing, 
and there were concerns about the prevention of a digital money token from being spent twice or many times over by the same person. Extropians' Vision for Post-Internet World The Extropians believed in waiting for transcendent breakthroughs in biotechnology and artificial intelligence while opposing government oversight. They attempted to establish a sovereign nation in international waters and were obsessed with cryonics. To maintain their wealth and support themselves when thought out, they needed a currency that could hold its value for an indefinite period and solve three fundamental problems, coordination, duplication, and adoption. Unveiling Bitcoin's Unique Selling Point In 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin, a digital currency that exists solely in the online world and resolved issues faced by predecessors like DigiCash, the double spending problem. Bitcoin's open source code introduced a decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer alternative to cash that anyone can verify on a transparent network of public ledgers. Unlike previous digital tokens of the past, Bitcoin is untethered from the physical world, only exists online, and solves the double spending issue with ease, marking the distinct feature of the world's most popular cryptocurrency. Bitcoin and Alternative Currencies Bitcoin's success lies in the combination of technology and storytelling. While alternative currencies have emerged, only Bitcoin has endured due to its limited issuance and a good backstory surrounding its scarcity. The digital currency is mined through a computational process that consumes electricity and generates heat. Bitcoin's underlying value moves outside human society's boundaries, making it feel physical despite its existence in the virtual world. The tale of scarcity has made Bitcoin valuable to buyers who agree that it holds value. The value of any currency is determined by the acceptance of the belief surrounding it by businesses and consumers. Finn Brunton's Digital Cash takes us on an engrossing journey through the ever-evolving world of currency, highlighting the bold visions and inventive ideas that have shaped the financial landscape throughout history. We witness the profound influence of technology and ideology on both present and future monetary systems. From ancient civilizations to modern-day Bitcoin, the true worth of currency has always been determined by people's belief in its value and their acceptance of the associated concepts and rules. As we move forward in an increasingly digital age, digital cash emphasizes the need to recognize the remarkable innovations of the past and embrace the potential of alternative systems in shaping our financial future.